We begin with your voice, your vote election coverage. Are you sick of potholes in Spokane streets in disrepair? Well, let the city know with your vote. Good evening. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Nadine Woodward. Street repairs and improvements are a top concern for a lot of people. A street levy on the ballot would provide more money for those improvements. And KXY4's Alyssa Donovan working for you to find out how the new levy will fix the streets without affecting your wallet. Alyssa? Well, Nadine, I'm here on High Drive, and behind me is the last of the projects that have to do with the expiring 10-year street bond. Now, homeowners have been paying a property tax of 57 cents per thousand dollars of assessed value. That's going to be the same amount for this new street levy, and that's what's going to make it possible for more streets to look like this one. It's been a long summer into fall for people along Spokane's High Drive. Roadblocks noisy equipment and big trucks blocking their beautiful view. Be glad when everybody goes home and, uh, and things quiet down here. Robert Putnam lives at the corner of High and Bernard. It's been a, it's been a noisy, dusty, dirty summer. But now the project's almost complete. Repaved roads, new trails and new parking. But without a new street levy, it could be the last. These projects can only happen if we make sure that we keep this tax rate the same and keep, keep that funding going. The levy would give the city $25 million a year to spend on several proposed projects throughout Spokane. The city will pay as they go, which means there will not be any financing charges. We'll be able to keep the tax rate the same, so don't pay any more go for 20 more years, have that citizen oversight, and really get so much more out of our money. So your tax rate would not change. And although some residents like Putnam are not a fan of the construction, he still thinks this is what's best for the city. Well, I'm for improving the streets of Spokane, all, all of Spokane. And he didn't want to leave it to chance. Putnam got his ballot in early. I did that last week, and it's on its way. <laughs> And now in order for the street levy to pass, the city needs at least actually more than 50% of the votes and the ballots are due on Tuesday. For more information on those proposed plans, you can check out our website and click on the news links tab, kxly.com. Reporting on the South Hill, I'm Melissa Donovan, KXLY4 News.